Karen Brooks Nelson, the Educational Technology Consultant from Advanced Education. I'm working with a Hitachi interactive projector and a whiteboard, and this is Starboard software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make links to websites. And when we make links to websites, we have to have something to click on in order to get to those sites. It can be anything. It can be a picture or a circle or it can be a word. And for the first one we're going to make, I'll do just a plain circle. So I'm going to click on my shapes at the bottom. And third one down is a circle. And I'll just draw a circle on the board. Now, I think I'll make it a bit more colorful than that. In order to do that, I make sure that I'm on the Select tool. Click on the circle, and you'll see a menu appear at the top right. I'm going to click on that menu. And down here, you'll see Object Properties. This allows me to change all kinds of things. For instance, I can change the line style, the thickness, the width. But really, all I want to do is change the color. So we'll make it blue. There we go. And we'll close that Object Properties menu. So now I've got my circle ready to be a button that will link to a website. And I'm going to go to a website and just copy uh, a URL. So here's my website already pre-selected. I've chosen the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. It's nice because it goes from pre-K to grade 12 all kinds of activities that we can um, access that will work on the interactive board. So we need to copy the URL, and I'll probably do this on my computer because it'll be a bit easier at this point. So with my mouse, I'm going to highlight the URL at the top, and Control-C will copy it. Once I've copied it, I can come back to Starboard software, and I'm again going to tap on the circle and choose the menu because I want to edit a hyperlink. Now we have to choose the type of hyperlink we want and it can be an attachment or a file but what I want for this purpose is web page. So I'll click on that and then it says target here that's where we paste in the URL so I'll do a control V here and OK now, you can't see anything changed at all, but now when I tap on this button, it will open up the web page. So let's look at this again. This time, I'm going to write a word on the screen and make that into a button. And for that purpose, I can use handwriting or the text pen. Um, I'll use the text pen for this one. And we'll call it Starfall Calendar. There it is. There's our button. It's kind of big. Do you remember how to make it small? We're just going to click on it with our select tool. And again, in the top is the menu. I'll just move it over so you can see that. Here's the menu. And we can change the object properties. And I'm going to change the size to 26. So this is now going to be a button that will take us to the Starfall calendar. And I'm going down to National Library page and click on my Starfall page. And we'll see the calendar here. Yippee! Yippee! It's February 2015. Let's make a calendar. Now I can open up this every single day by clicking on the button I'm going to make. I'm going to highlight the URL and a control C will quickly copy it. And I'm going to go back to Starboard. And if you remember from the last one, we're going to click on the words instead of the circle. And there's a menu to the right here that we're going to click on and choose Edit Hyperlink. And again, we're going to look for the type of hyperlink, web page. And I'll paste with control V the URL into that area. Okay, so it's underlined it. You know it's now a hyperlink. So we've got a button and we've got this hyperlink here. And if I click on it, it'll load our calendar. Let me do that again. Let's make sure I'm on the pointer, which I am. 
There we go. You get to hear the yippee again. It's February 2015. Let's make a calendar. And thank you for watching.